This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. As your design progresses and changes are made because of the progression in the design or through client changes, or the architect has actually made a change, you will have to change your design as you go. This has to be a fairly easy process, otherwise there's little point in using the software, and the process is easy. Take for example this run of duct. If I place my cursor over one length of duct, press the tab key and left mouse click to select. I can now change a variety of parameters associated with the duct. For example, I can change the width, and in changing the width of the duct, where a connector is involved, a duct fitting is placed to allow for the change in the size of duct. I can also use this process to select the duct and place duct insulation. The duct insulation can just as easily be removed in the same process. Use the tab select, left mouse click to select the run and remove insulation. I'll get a warning message saying are you sure you want to remove the duct insulation. This same process is also used for internal lining. So what other operations are available to us, and how can we do this efficiently? Here I've created a section. This is called Section 5. I'm going to open a 3D view. Right click on the view cube and orient to a view, which is my Section 5. This rotates the entire model and crops it using a section box until I can see the section of the model that I want to work with. Let's turn off the scope boxes by hiding the category and zoom into the area I want to work on. This can further be enhanced by selecting the linked file and hiding it temporarily so I can see just the section of duct that I want to work with. Let's turn line weights off using the Thin Lines tool, just for clarity. If I select a duct, I can change its type to say round. And in changing this, additional fittings are placed for the transitions. Let's go back to my section. At this point I'm going to select the duct and remove the lining. Let's change it back to rectangular duct. And I now want to place an offset in this duct. So I'll split the duct in two places. Select and delete that internal section. Go back to my home tab and use the duct tool. Run my duct from one point.
and here you can see we have come across an error. Let's just try that again, and I'll extend my duct up past the junction. At this point, what I'll do is I'll use the trim tool to finish the join. Other tools that are available, if I go back to my level one plan, if I select a duct fitting, I'm also presented with the opportunity to turn this into a T. Let's do that again. Selecting the elbow shows me two little crosses that enables me to select one of them and turn the duct from a bend into a T. Selecting it again takes me back to an elbow.